I, I have to be honest and say there are times when I think, um, golly, you know, I want to be in the limelight. I mean, I don't think of it in those terms, but that, that does kind of well up every now and then, but it's nothing that uh, is... Um, a driving force inside me. Cindy Williams has died following a short illness, and in the wake of her death, Hollywood is paying tribute. Do you fellas mind if we girls go to the ladies' room and freshen up a bit first? I'm already fresh. Laverne! I'll freshen, I'll make you happy. <laughs> Shortly after news broke of the actress's death at the age of 75, her former co-stars chimed in, like Ron Howard, who starred alongside her in Happy Days and American Graffiti. <laughs> Canal. What for? Listen, I can get tough with you too, you know. Hard guy. The actor spoke to E.T. about his longtime friend. Quote, I remember her life spark and her energy. I saw her last year in Palm Springs at an event and still saw that sparkle in her eyes. It's so hard to imagine that she's gone. We just brought a spirit, like a camp, you know, spirit to it. And, and I think that was one of the things that, um, uh, that caused the movie to have that feeling of um, it's just like everybody's story, you know, everybody could relate to it. Ron adds, Cindy wanted to be remembered for her range of characters that she created, different tones and different styles. Cindy had so much talent and she settled for none of the Hollywood traffic. She just did her work. Oh, Stephen, please smile. Suzanne Summers, who had a small cameo in the 1973 film, also recalled working with Cindy. Quote, loved my time hanging in the trailer with her on the set of American Graffiti, and then the fabulous Tuesday night lineup on ABC, Laverne and Shirley, Happy Days, and Three's Company. We had good times together. Rest in peace, dear, dear friend. There's a feeling of camaraderie within the movie and a feeling of, of everybody really knowing everyone. Cindy's Laverne and Shirley co-stars are also honoring her legacy. A furry coat made out of mix. Compared to you, it really stinks. I'm in love with love. In a statement to E.T., Michael McKean said, Cindy was so talented and so game. When she and Penny were cooking, there's no one who could touch them. The happiest time was when you hit a joke perfectly and you heard that audience laugh. Henry Winkler, AKA the Fonz, <laughs> remembered the first time he met Cindy on the set of Happy Days. This is Laverne DeFazio, she's mine. And this is Shirley Feeney, she's yours as you can see. Mm. <laughs> the actor tells E.T. quote, not once have I ever been in her presence when she wasn't gracious, thoughtful, and kind. Cindy's talent was limitless. There was not a genre she could not conquer. I am so glad I knew her. I want to tell you about your date, okay? okay. Now, she's a very cute girl, but she's not your usual type of girl. Mm. <laughs> Anson Williams, who played Potsy on the sitcom, told E.T. he's devastated by her loss. Quote, the only thing bigger than her talent was her heart. She walked the walk of kindness, a giver, never a taker, a star who made everyone she touched a bigger star. As you get older, things in your past become treasures and you get sentimental about them. And I was thinking the other day, oh, why am I crying over Laverne and Shirley? It was a comedy, but it was just all those beautiful, beautiful moments that, you, you know, when you're younger, they pass by. And I think this is how God intended it.